Hello, welcome to this uh, chapter. This is about the segmentation. We have studied about the segmentation. So segmentation is basically what it does. So segmentation divides the computer network into smaller parts. The purpose is to improve network performance and security. So how does it improve uh, network performance? Basically by segregating the bandwidths. Other terms that often mean the same thing are network segregation, network partitioning and network isolation. So all these terms are same and main purpose is the segmentation. So segmentation basically it works by controlling how traffic flows among the parts. You could choose to stop all the traffic in one part from reaching another or you can limit the flow of traffic by source destination and many other options. So now I think after so much discussion on segmentation, it must be clear to you that what is the main purpose we want to achieve. So we want to keep our system secure as well as we want to improve the network performance. So let's see some of the more benefits of the segmentation. So one could be improve operational performance. So how does it happen? Segmentation reduces network congestion. So let us suppose we have one flat network and every device can reach to each of all the devices so in that case there will be unnecessary communications from one network to another network or one network device to another network device because you have a flat network there is no segmentation at all so even in case if, if you want to send something or you want to uh, fetch something there could be some of the broadcast traffic in case if you want to search or do a AMAP scan or you want to scan your network, it will create a huge amount of traffic. So this is how if we segment our networks into smaller segments, like we can keep one office network, we can give one enterprise network, then it will definitely add, definitely add the value to your network. Next is the protect vulnerable devices. So how can it protect the vulnerable devices? Segmentation can stop harmful devices harmful traffic from reaching devices that are unable to protect themselves from attack. So let's take an example, a hospital connected infusion pumps may not be designed with the advanced security defenses. So network segmentation can stop harmful internet traffic from ever reaching them. Another example we can take, take off safety instrumentation system. So might be those uh, solutions, they should not, they can't be equipped with super uh, cyber security technologies or they will not have such resources to implement all those cyber security solutions. In that case, what we can do, we can keep all these devices in a safety zone and we can uh, put boundary protection devices with a minimal exchange of data with the upper uh, segments or other segments. So in that case, your those safety zone will remain uh, quite secure by doing the segmentation. Another example we can take that uh, vulnerable devices, it could be the old or obsolete systems or the XP systems or the old obsolete uh, any, uh, switches or firewalls. So what we can do, we can keep all those devices in a uh, different segment and we can put a proper boundary protection cyber security control so that the communications, whatever going inside that segment and are coming outside that segment, that should be inspected, questioned and trust, uh, untrusted and uh, should be monitored every time. So that will help you to protect your vulnerable devices. Moving ahead is the reduce the scope of compliance. So segmentation reduces the cost associated with regulatory compliance by limiting the number of in scope systems. For example, segmentation separates the system that process payments from that doesn't. That way the expensive compliance requirements and audit processes apply only to in scope system, not the entire network. So, that is how by this four factors it we can gain advantage from segmentation. Now let's see in this uh, example. So we know we are aware of this architecture. This is a Purdue model of a basic DCS we can uh, consider here. So here we have we have created one segment and in this segment we have kept all our physical interfaces. So this is a complete segment. Now after this, there is a one more level here. Uh, we have uh, uh, PLCs, HMIs, process controller, process controller, HMI. So this complete these two levels we can consider as a one segment. So whatever communications is going from this to another segment, we can we can put a firewall here in this place. We can put a, a layer three switch with access control list, which can control the communications from these devices. 
we can put a proper cyber security uh, measures for this arena so we can put proper physical security controls we can add proper uh, like uh, lock and keys and we can also put some of the antivirus anti malware software solutions in the hmis but same is not applicable for this segment you can see that here we have engineering workstation that could reside on the windows that could be a xp that could be a windows server also so different cyber security requirements will be for this thing and in terms of the improving performance so if your this segment is in a different vlan so communications happening between this plc to this plc or this plc to this plc or from this hmi to this hmi that will be totally independent of whatever is happening here if there is some command going from engineering workstation to this that will be in a separate uh, segment so that communication will not impact any communication between plc to process communication so what we can do we can create one vlan which will help to communicate these from peer to peer communications or we can create a hardware different hardware network also so that could we can call peer to peer network so in some of the systems we saw the peer to peer networking so what it does it is a complete separate segment which communicates to each other on a separate segment so similarly in the foxboro dcs also there is a mesh topology mesh is for the controller communication that is purely for the process control and they have a above all communication that is called pc lan communication where the pcs computers are communicating the controllers so two different segments are there and also there are some pin segments are there where where the communication from the above systems to these workstations or these controllers are happening though that is a completely different network so we can create multiple networks in the same environment to ensure the non interference between all these so this communication will be separate this communication will be separate so any communication from workstation to historian it will be again separate and that all traffic will be determined by whether we can put a router here or we can put a firewall here so firewalls are the basic thing which provide the segmentation we can achieve that by router also and layer 3 so, uh, switches also um, using access control list but best way to do segmentation is the routers is firewalls and then vlans so these two things we can do and also if there are some communication going from this level to the internet we can use unidirectional gateways so that will also add a sufficient way of uh, protection to our network so unidirectional gateways also give a segmentation because the unidirectional gateways act uh, like on a physical platform that it gives you only a one way communication so that is how we do segmentation so we talked enough we uh, about the segmentation hope it clarified you what is the purpose what improvements it can do to our network what type of cyber security benefits it can uh, provide so like in cyber security let us suppose if uh, some malware comes to this segment so it will not cross proliferate to these segments because we we will put here a firewall we will put a firewall here and these are totally different networks so it will not segment without a proper routing rule through the firewall so this is how we can limit the spread of malware also in our system by doing segmentation so that's all about segmentation let's move to the next topic thank you